Roll inside is kind of funny. Yeah. Well, so this is like the first shot we saw in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Now I brought roll inside. I just remember. Oh god. <laughs> I remember I made you die laughing during that. That ruined that fight. Yeah. Oh god. Smash yeah, I got reckless dead. Yeah. You mean with the, with the helicopter pack? Yeah. It's 
falling idol it's falling animation is basically him trying to flutter with his arms. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh what you mean like oh when the when the uppy wears out? That'd be kind of oh. funny. <laughs> yeah. No one can ever say that Nintendo doesn't care about Ray ever, ever get ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that, cause that reminds me, I like how in the final shot of Karul, uh, reveal, um, the last thing they did was, like, they beat the Karul, but, like, the aim, but then he, like, backs off, like, but, like, it's the fake out. Hmm. I like how they, they make this, like, seem like a bonus area, which it, I guess in some ways it is, but it isn't, so it's kind of weird. It's like, uh, trying to bash the clock trap. Yeah. I feel like they should have done, er, mo like, more areas like this? Yeah, more areas like this where, like, it's technically a bonus room, but it's not. Um, but you still get a puzzle piece there. Like, I think if they, if they, if they did that more often, um, it would, uh, break up the <coughs> monotony of just seeing the same kind of bonuses. But they don't really do that. That's, I'm like, the only one... Is that you first? I was gonna say that's like the only time I, I remember them doing that offhand. Uh, I was gonna say I, I'm just I'm looking at this. And I'm just reminded of how in Tropical Freeze every single level of the final world was like each of the worlds here just like progress. You know? For, yeah. I like Homecoming High. Like like Homecoming High again. So then it, it then goes to like this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm. I don't know if I want to say that's not my favorite world, but like, Homecoming hijinks or like, just the final world in Tropical Freeze is a contender for like, favorite final world in the game. It's both well, like, and Donkey Kong's. Like, 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 like familiar territory turns, it turns incredibly dangerous. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, um, blow my load now because, uh, I feel like blowing right now. <laughs> yeah. By the way, by the way, quick warning for everybody: you can't swim in this game. Nope, that's not a thing until the next game. Like, and so, imagine you have an air meter. Yeah. It's like no. They just oh. lost their ability to swim in this game, and they in the next game they lost their ability to they've breathe. Been out of it, they've been out of it that long. <laughs> Yeah, and then they lose their ability to just breathe uh, underwater infinitely. So, yeah. <laughs> Is there an air meter here in Donkey Kong 64? Nope. What? In no. DK64, no. No. Okay, this this seems like Oh a, god. This seems like speed- yeah, this is speed run bait. Yeah, that's one thing I like about like, uh, like, like, Enemy, I think enemy patterns don't start until you actually, until they actually get on screen. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's Tropical Freeze specifically or just this, or both of them. I, 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 I know that's a thing in Tropical Freeze because there's like specific enemies that are like placed in a way that are supposed to be bounced on when you get to them in speedruns. Yeah. I'd assume that's the case here too. So, yeah, they're, they're clearly meant. Yeah, it's, it's so. It, they're, probably, they're they're clearly meant for the time tiles parts. Yeah, I, I like that this game, these games like, uh, are built for like two different types of players, or really, three I guess. Like you have the ca more casual runs where you just you want to get to the end of the game. You have the more methodical players that want to get all the collectibles, and then you have the speed run type guys that just want to get through as fast as possible and find all different like techniques and stuff. And then there's the player, and then there's the guy who tries to do, sh he tries to do two of them. <laughs> well, and then AKA the hundred, oh, AKA, AKA the hundred percent, the hundred percent speedrunners. Yeah, you the, the Gerards of the world. Oh god. Did, did, I forget, did he do returns? Yes, he did. <laughs> and, uh, I, rem I think, like, the, it was like, the time trials is just like, <laughs> what? What, Why? It's like when when I when I hear a game has time trials, I'm just like, no, because <laughs> like they. I pity I pity because yeah I, he had to do all that for um 
for Crash Team Racing, and he, he had to be on the oxide time. Yeah, I'm gonna say this right now. Um, I'm not gonna aim for go uh, gold in every level. Like, I think silver. You're just going for you're just going for clear, right? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to at least get silver, but like, if a level gets really bad, I'll just pass it. I'll just get a bronze. But like, I'll give it I'll give it a fair shake. Like, I, I'm not gonna. Half he's not. He, 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 yeah, he, he's gonna try it. Just that uh, it's no big deal if he doesn't get if he doesn't get the all the full. Yeah, I will say though, uh, I did try. I have tried um, like a long time ago doing like the time trials of this like the first two worlds of this game and Tropical Freeze, and the um, just the feeling of the game is just completely changed when you try doing those. Like time trials, and we've missed the present. Sounds like it. So that's pretty nice. Uh, a practice thing. Do we want to like? What? Do we want to try finding it again, or just wait for the show? Um. I I had no idea where it would be. Let me just look it up. <laughs> okay. He'll, he'll look it up and not, he'll look it up, don't tell us yet. I'll give it, I'll, I'll, I... <sighs> I have a couple theories of where, where it might be, but... Maybe you missed the read? Maybe you missed the read? Maybe. So I've had that get a bunch of like a bunch of bananas. Maybe it was those maybe it was those bananas that you ate that you didn't grab all of them during that bounty bit where the thing was riding. I hope not because like they, they barely give you enough time for that. Um I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try like pounding these because I'm curious about like if they it's gonna end up making a random puzzle piece of here if I do it a couple times. Wait. Okay. Good. Yeah, I know we got the one. Okay, now do we just clear or do we have to finish the level? We have to finish the level. Okay. That already? That that yeah, it was just kinda unceremoniously in a in um, like hidden in a chest. So we just kinda lost okay. over. Yeah, miss a banana coin. Hmm? We're fine. Okay, okay, brain scratch Logan, we got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of rushing through at this point. Miss the banana on your way down. I, I, part of me wonders if I can just uh, uh, do a roll jump um, from the top of that platform without like ground pounding or like hand, doing a hand slap. But yeah, I'm not gonna chance that today. Why you coming for the I will say these levels tend to be longer than the SNES trilogy, but um, even even then, I wouldn't say these levels are too terrible. Oh god, good. <laughs> I wouldn't say these levels are too terribly long. Um, I'd say, as far as 2D platformers go, the these are a pretty good length. I will say that, um, I guess it is a little bit annoying having to re like, finish the level to secure a puzzle piece, whereas like, in the trilogy you could just exit the level after you got, got you, what you missed, but I don't think, I don't think it's like, ugh. damn it, okay I'm not gonna try that. I don't think it's uh, un like annoying enough to harp, a uh, harp on it over and over again. And no, I'm not venting. What are you talking about? Thank <laughs> you. 
Because I have heard people, uh, like, talk about how it's like, such a step back and all that, but it's like, dude, it's really not that big of a deal. I, mi I, I, I missed something, what were we talking about? Um, in, okay, so in, in the SNES trilogy, if you grabbed a, if you did like a bonus room or got like a DK coin, uh, you can just exit the level and you'll have those items. Whereas in this game, if you want to secure puzzle pieces, you're going to have to finish the level yeah. again. Which, I'll admit it's worse, but again, I, f I don't think, the level, I don't think the levels are long enough to make it really annoying um and it it could be a lot worse is, is the point and um i've seen some people <laughs> don't want to say any names but say like some people that uh, rag on about how how annoying it is over and over again and like every pl other playthrough when it's like Okay, fair enough, but it's like, it's not enough of a deal to warrant complaining about it every five minutes. Heads up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all I have, that's all I'm gonna say on that bat. <laughs> didn't even hear the name, so I'm, I'm in the dark. Exo Paradigm Good. Gamer. <laughs> I don't want to start anything, so I'll just leave it there. Over there. I've heard of them. I just have I probably have I watched any of their videos? Maybe once. I'm behind on my YouTube personality list thing. I really watch less players that much anymore. It's weird. I don't really watch a lot of people in general nowadays. Like, I kinda just- YouTube celebrities keep disappointing me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's one way to put it. Uh, okay. Where's Dixie when you need her? Not here. Okay, how? Oh, I see, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I apologize for back. <laughs> oh, okay. That was cool. Yeah, I'll say this. Um, the in terms of just how the game, these games feel, there's definitely a lot more weight uh, to DK than there was in the in the uh, SNES games. Um, I personally prefer how we how the controls feel in the Returns games, with the exception of, I guess, the roles, because I do really like how the roles feel in the, in the SNES trilogy. Um, but, yeah, in terms of just general game feel, I do really like how DK feels in these games. That's good to know. D I'm being serious. I'd, I'd hope that the modern games, the newer games, would be feel better. Mm. I mean, it, it can I will s it is like massively debatable as well because again, these games control completely differently, so your mi mileage will vary on um, what you prefer. Because again, if you play this like you're, you, if you play this like you're playing the original trilogy, you're gonna be thrown for a loop. Because I remember. Like, I bought the Switch port of Tropical Freeze, and I remember being completely thrown off when I played that because I was, like, by that point, I was, like, so used to how the SNES games played. Oh, yeah. Uh, it wasn't right after the last place, but they were not probably the last thing I did. Okay. Alright, I think there's a bonus here. No? Oh, okay. That door looks suspicious, so... Yeah. 
Again, these are just really quick. They're just really quick and satisfying. It's hard, it's hard to it's hard to be too mad about them. What I am mad about, it's been six years since the Wii U version of Tropical Freeze released. Yeah. I'm sick yeah, until I... Retro's busy. Allegedly. Yeah, I... Well, they're working, well, they're working on, uh, on Metroid. Well, now they are, but it's like, what the hell was going on in, like, the past, like, whatever many years before that? It's like, they, they had to have been working on something. I, I, I get that, like, projects um, get cancelled all the, all the time and whatnot, but, like, it doesn't... It doesn't speak good things for your studio if you're... If you're, like, what was it? Five or something years after you've released a game, and you have still haven't you still have nothing to show for like another for like a, a new game. Like by that point, you're gonna end up just end up losing a lot of money because you just have nothing. And it's just like, what is going on over there? I made a joke on Discord saying that. This is before Metroid Prime 4 was announced to be going to going to be developed by Retro. I, so I just made a joke of like a month prior, saying that Retro's whole situation could be like Weekend at Bernie's, where it's just a dead man and we don't know it. Oh god. I do know that they had no. to hire a bunch of new people when uh, they were like tasked to do Prime 4. Um, please have a. Where's the puzzle piece? No. Why? Damn it. Uh oh, I'll look it up. Uh, that was two, World 2-2 two, two, or World 2-3? Two, 2-2. Two, two. Can't count. <laughs> Alright, let's get to... This sounds like an infant. That was cranky, right? I was off screen. I'm, I, I get the. Uh, I'll try. We'll g give Squawks a try. I've never actually used them before. Squawks is the only animal buddy who has perfect attendance in all of Rare and Retro's Donkey Kong games. Yeah. Good old. Like, even Squawks shows up. Yeah. Uh, do I have to like have a sh okay yeah. Let's see. Puzzle piece seven. Uh ah. it's towards near the top of the tower. Okay. Um yeah, invisible barrel wall. Oh, I, I take back how um, nice I was about Retro's handling of collectibles. <laughs> Wait. Why are you freaking out? Wait. Are you serious? Oh, wait, so never mind. Uh, <laughs> I would have ruined your day. Sorry about that, Harry. No, that's fine. Okay, well, I guess when that's it. Good thing to point out. Um, un unlike uh, the new Super Mario Bros. games, um, and yes, I am actually complimenting those games for once. Um, the unlike those games where uh, the star coins are—it's um, obvious where they are in the level. The puzzle pieces, not so much, because for some reason, instead of like um, showing like which one you get in correlation to the others, it just kind of adds to the counter in general, so it's like, if you get the first one in the level last, that's gonna be the seventh one, and um, it's a little bit of, a little bit annoying when you're trying to retrace your steps, I, I have to say. I can understand that.
least we got a good old power friend here. <laughs> I like how he just like slid off screen for a second. Like like those old stage shows where someone gets pulled away with a cane. Yeah, pretty much. It's basically just edit that in. It just <laughs> it just looked like it was in the game itself. Slide slow effect. Yeah. No, no, we're, okay, we're... I don't want to. I don't want to keep talking about this too much. But um, uh, what what are your guys like um, feelings towards the bonuses in the, in these games? Bonuses. Ex they exist. Yeah. For bonuses. That's fair. An end. To be honest, I don't even. Maybe. I, I, I go. To be honest, I, like when I'm playing the game, I I do grab them when I see it. When I, I do go to bonuses when I see them and all that, but I don't particularly care about getting all the pieces. To be honest, that's fair. Uh, Just less... realized we don't. Hmm? I go on. No, I'll say. I was gonna say there's there's um a lot less incentive to find the puzzle pieces than there are like the. Kremlin coins or whatever in the two or DKC two or three. Um, I I I uh, oh, I was expecting this type of level to be later. Okay, um, so uh, holding that thought, here's, here's That's a new here's um, the other level type we were, we were alluding to earlier, rocket barrels, which um, these are very infamous with. Uh, uh, with players of this game, because uh, again, with like the minecart, one hit and you're dead, and uh, these hold some of the harder levels in the game. So, have fun. I love a song. Music yeah. is great. This and uh, one of the boss yeah, rooms. This is one of my favorite. You know what? I'll say this is probably one of my favorite new like song songs. Yeah, I'll say this. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna say this now. This and. Uh, Probably one of the boss themes are uh, probably this game's best original tracks. Because um, th this game uses a lot of remixes, um, and only really a few of the tracks are original. But th th this this is the, like this is really good stuff. Yeah. Also, I like both of these from here. But it's, it's, it's... Oh. Oh god. How's the, how's the motion controls on this? Uh, there's no motion. I believe if you hold A to go up and let it go to go down. Yeah. And it's very sensitive, so you kind of have to, like, tap it a lot. Isn't it our boss fight actually right there? Yeah, those crabs are actually our boss. Okay, don't jump into that because sneaky bonus. I, I, thought, I thought we are missing a puzzle piece. Yeah. Sometimes they like to hide like a bonus or something at the end. I think the bonus rounds could use just a bit, just a few more platforming challenges. Yeah, that's fair. I will say, um, I, I like, I like these bonuses more than one and may, like, arguably three depending on the level because some, like, DKC 3's bonuses were either really, really fun or really annoying, depending on what the game asked you to do. Um, DKC 2 is, uh, DKC 2 is definitely the best of them, though. Yeah. R good, good amount of variety and challenge, nothing's the same. Yeah. And even, like, the, the thing with, thing is with, like, DKC 2 and uh, 3 by extension, even though I don't like a lot of them, is um, every, even though it has the same type of bonus bonus uh, challenge, like get the bananas or get the stars or all this other stuff, um, it's always like the level design is always different for each one, so it never feel, it never gets uh, like tedious or samey, whereas like 
in this game, while there are a decent amount of, like, banana challenges, they never, like, deviate. Like, it's, it's you have the, like, the bouncy one, um, it's generally just gonna be the same one every time, um, and, um, again, DKC1 was like that too, so, I guess, being fair, the first, the first game in Rares Trilogy was pretty bad about that too, but, yeah. Those are the bombs from Crash Tree's pirate levels for a moment. <laughs> yeah, they... They're they, generic looking bombs, but that's what I think of. Yeah. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Good. Ooh, man. Yeah, beach level, yeah. So how um, how far did you of the, these? I'll limit it to returns for now. Uh, how much of this game have you played, Scrappy? Oh, well, one. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, what's your what's your general experience? It's fine. I, I, I like I liked it. Okay. Is is it like do you would you like ever plan to go back to it? And Nintendo makes the virtual console for Wii games in ten years, sure. <laughs> that would be nice. Speaking of which, I'm still waiting for the SNES games on the SNES Online. Like, I like how we didn't get that, but we got like weird other things that barely anyone, as far as I'm aware, knows about. I'm happy that they're, they're that they're at least kind of going up for a, that they're uh, using some less conventional games for re-releases. I suppose. Yes, yeah, re-release the country trilogy on SNES Online, unless you're actually gonna do like a Nintendo Dean Rare replay, but that's not happening, so. Yeah, be nice. Yeah. It'd be nice if we got like a Donkey Kong platformer collection, but that's probably oh, not happening. Yeah. I mean, I'll say this, um, I wouldn't mind seeing 3D Donkey Kong getting another the, I, I wouldn't mind like Retro or whoever else taking a crack at another 3D ga Donkey Kong game because um, I I'll say this I don't I don't hate DK64 like it has a lot of good ideas and um, there's something there's definitely like a great game buried underneath it. It's just Camelot's phone is collecting dust, just waiting for that call. Yeah. So I don't care who it is, just... Uh, you can use, like, DK64 as a base and just make it more streamlined. Make it so you can... If you're gonna have every Kong do something, like, have, like, specific uh, power-ups or whatnot, make it easy to switch between them. Um, and calm down the collectibles a bit, cause like, you don't need like, 500 bananas, and like, what, 25 golden bananas in every world. Can we actually implement the tagging mechanic from the old country games in a 3D Donkey Kong? Yeah. So you don't have to keep on going back to a barrel every time? Yeah. I would also like to see some of the old, like... Did I screw myself over? Ugh. Come on, I want to salvage this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is happening. Yeah, screw it. You wanted to see what salvaged? Um. We were talking about DK64. DK what was the last thing we said? I, I, I suggested, like, 
implementing the tag mechanic of the old country games in a greedy Donkey Kong if they wanted to, I guess, just to reduce redundancy. So you wouldn't have to be doubling back to a barrel to change characters every time. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember what I was gonna say now. Um, what I was gonna say is, it would be nice to see um, the some of the other Kong, uh, some of the other Kong members, like, make a comeback, because there's still a lot of them that are kind of just missing in action. He has not been seen since Donkey Kong Country 3's Game Boy Advance port. <laughs> Like, uh, the, uh... I... Who, um... Who of the uh, DK64 crew has been in another game? Like... Uh, everyone except Chunky. Tiny wasn't super Oh, no. is that when they had that no. weird sexualized version of her? Actually came from Diddy Kong Racing DS first, so... Oh. We can thank Rare for both her designs. Yeah, that's really weird. Oh. Uh, I think I might have to kill myself. Yeah, alright. Yeah, if they do ever, like, remake Donkey Kong 64, I guess they... I guess it'll have to go back to Tiny's short design. I hope so, because, like, when I think Tiny, I think actually being Tiny, not like... Like, humanoid. Like, what the, what the heck is the deal with that? I can only presume that since Dixie and Tiny were the stand-ins for Banjo and Conker in the Diddy Kong Racing remake, they needed someone who was roughly Banjo's height. Uh, yeah. In my mind, it doesn't make... I don't think it makes much difference when they're all in carts for most of the game, but... It's just kind of weird, because, like, Tiny, like, it's like, uh, Tiny had a fine design as it is, it's like, uh, it just feels weird. I'm not really a fan. Yeah, I, I would like to see me die. Yeah, that, that's good. Um, I, I'd like to see the uh, DK64 specific crew in, like, an actual platformer again. I mean, and then there's Sunky. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> dead. Never like God. <laughs> Ironic that the older brother of Kitty Kong, who disappeared, pretty much never showed up again either. I remember the Ironic first, you know, coincidence. You know what, the very first time I ever saw Kitty Kong was actually in a weird icon in one of the Donkey Kong games. Oh my god. That's what the Kitty Kong War looks like. Isn't like, isn't like the, like some hidden law, uh, hidden law of the uh, Donkey Kong, isn't that like the Great Banana War or some crap? Great Ape War, I think that's what it was. Yeah, apparently there's like some kind of Great Banana War. I think that's just a fan theory, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's true or not, but, but I, I remember uh, Nathan from Brain Scratch talking about it in the D D D Tropical Freeze playthrough. And I'm just like, when, <laughs> since when was this a thing? Never a thing, it's just a fan theory. That would be amazing, though, it's like... It's like Keyblade War, st <laughs> like it's like it's like uh, step aside Keyblade War. We got the Banana War here. And Funky is running up, basically running an army supply shop in Donkey Kong 64. Oh my god! Why is this so difficult? They, uh, they knew what, what they were doing in place in this, uh, power over there, because this is evil. Good. 
thing Nintendo is still a bit weird. It's just a bit weird about reintroducing Donkey Kong's extended family again. Yeah. I don't know exactly why, but they just seem. How the hell? Didn't have any problems. They didn't, they didn't seem to have any problems like during the Payon spinoff days. Mm. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Hit the button and he'll and he'll do this with the guide. I'm I Kong will not be making a Paris in this let's play, unfortunately. Nope. I'm determined to get this. Forget. Yeah. Remind myself that thanks to all of the stuff Rare did. Mario is technically canon to the Conquer universe. <laughs> yeah. Just go! Okay, 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 okay. Moment of force forces with me. I'm moment of force Ooh. forces with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that is basically what that is. Oh, good. You guys need to fail the ball trying to get this to restart the level. Uh, I think issue. F get the banana coin, please. Okay. Uh, issue failed a bonus room. You do have to kill yourself to be able to access it again, which admittedly is a bit stupid. But yeah. Okay. We we done. Move cool. along, move along. Okay, that's definitely the hardest puzzle piece we've had to go out of our way to get so far. So, that was always get, get worse. Oh, blow hole bound, I remember that one. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do it in uh, numbered order, just because I'm OCD like that. <laughs> 